matter when it comes down to it. This is what's going to matter in our life at the end. Does someone give the Lord a round of applause? Praise God. Don't negotiate, amen, and believe the lie. No, all you got to do is believe, amen, because when you believe something, you're obedient to it tonight. Praise God. I was telling one of you there's a thousand dollars waiting for you in a bag over there. Uh, come on. And you believe me, you ain't gonna just sit there and then go home after church. Because if you didn't believe it, you're going to get up and go back there and go get the bag and do something about it, amen. And it's the same thing in God. If we believe the word of God, then we got to act like we believe it. we got to act in the word of God. we got to obey the word of God. we got to worship, amen. Like it's in the word of God tonight. Praise God. Amen. My salvation is non-negotiable tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're not just any church tonight, amen. We are the church of the Lord, God Almighty, amen. The word of God is not negotiable, amen. You can't just tear out what you want to read, amen, and leave in the parts that you want, amen. No, you got to go by the whole thing, amen. It's not sold in parts, amen. You either take it or leave it tonight. Yes. Praise God. Churches today, going on, telling you, you don't need to live holy. That's for the Old Testament, amen. The Old Testament is just the New Testament, amen. Getting ready to be unveiled tonight, amen. It is a shadow of things to come, amen. It is just a prelude, amen, to what God was getting ready to happen, amen. But since the days of old, amen, we find in the Bible, amen, that God loved holiness, amen. That God loved people to be separate, amen, from the people of this world, amen. We find in the Old Testament that the word of God is calling, amen, for a holy people, amen, a people to live righteous, amen. And the Bible lets me know that if God wanted in the Old Testament, he wasn't in the new, but the Bible says that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, amen. He's a never-changing God, amen. If it was for God, good for God yesterday, it's good for God today. Right. Praise God. Yes. Churches call themselves, amen. Apostolic, Pentecostal, amen. But they lost their holiness. All they are is backsliding, praise God. That's what they are, amen. They're ever learning, but they're never coming to the knowledge of truth because they're being blind. They're negotiating with the world, amen. And the world choked them out. The Bible says, amen, in the book of 2 Corinthians, wherefore come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord, amen. Uh, the book of 1 Thessalonians, uh, chapter 4, verse 7 says, amen, for God has not called us uh, unto uncleanliness, amen, but unto holiness, amen. Uh, Hebrews 12, 14 says, uh, to follow peace with all men uh, and holiness, amen. Uh, without no man shall see the Lord. Uh, I come to tell you, holiness is not a negotiable issue, amen. It's the word of God, amen. It's the truth of God, amen. And if you got a problem with it, don't Put the finger at the man of God, put the finger at the author, at the writer, amen. Because that is what's required, and if we believe it, we gotta obey it tonight. Let somebody shout, Praise the Lord! Praise God! Come on. Praise God. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord, right. amen. It's the word of God. You don't negotiate the word of God, amen. You don't take out from the word of God, amen. It's the word of God. That's what's going to save you. It's the word of God. It's not man's theories. It's not man's thoughts. The word of God is what's going to save your soul. The word of God is what's going to keep you. Amen. Praise God. There are people today you know, criticize our worship. The way we praise God. Make fun of us, amen. I've even seen it on, on Facebook or YouTube and all that trash. It's on there. Praise God. But I come to tell you, man, don't criticize me when I worship, amen. 
when this world can go out to a baseball game, amen, uh, they can go out to a, a football game, uh, they can go out to a basketball game, and I see them with my own two eyes, amen. They get all crazy, amen. They begin to jump up and down, amen, and hoop and holler, and they start doing their little jigs, amen, and start getting all crazy just because someone hit a ball, just because someone shot a basket, just because someone made a touchdown, amen. But what have they ever done for you, amen? What have they ever put you out, amen, out of your mess, amen? What have they ever paid your bills, amen? What have they come to your house and pray for your children? But then we complain when it comes to the house of God. God, and I'm giving to the Lord. We complain about being here for prayer. We complain about living righteous when there's a God that's like we preaching down from heaven, ready to meet your need. Hallelujah. My friend. Don't you criticize me when I get excited and do a jig for the Lord, amen. Because you don't know, like I know, what he's done for me, amen. He healed my mom from cancer. He fixed my mess. He put my marriage back together. He placed my bed. He kept me. He kept me. He kept me. Don't you criticize my worship. Negotiable, I worship is non negotiable tonight. Praise God, amen. The Bible says the praise God in the sanctuary, we're in the sanctuary. It says to praise Him for His mighty acts. It says to praise Him according to His greatness. I come to tell you, our praise is non negotiable. And somebody give the Lord a with the trembling man. To praise him in the dance, amen. To praise him with the string instruments and the organs. It's not negotiable. We're in the sanctuary of God. It's the 